Hello on page and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been exactly yes. one minute since we've had you on a video. How is your day going? Um, it was really it's been really good. I went on a walk. It's been um snowing a whole lot where I am. Very cool. So last time you had you on here, it was just a little short uh joke filled session. I wanted some behind the scenes info for pest. This time I wanted to make a bit more uh, a serious video to promote your upcoming album, Sophomore, which is releasing on February 15th of 2023. Um, so the first thing I wanted to ask was about your... wanted to ask about your background in music. Uh, over the last couple of years, you've really honed your talents with... First with Running Towards a Wall and then Mono Chops. Uh, tell us about that. Um, well, I, I got the idea of making music, um, forever ago, but then I was like, oh, I can't do it. I don't have GarageBand, but then my dad was like, oh, you can use GarageBand on my computer if you ever want to, and I was like, okay, and then I just never did, but then, like, like maybe a year almost later, I was like, hey, can I use your computer? And I recorded a, like, sort of demo of the song My Vicinity. Wow, so it's an it's a very old track. Yeah. I started working towards a wall in like right at the end of February and it came out in April, so it was a very short So that was the beginning of your musical career? Yeah. Oh wait, I did make <laughs> I did have the weird like electronic stuff like like thrown into chaos and like no use avoiding it and like the pest soundtrack and all that stuff but i don't really count that interesting and then uh you picked up guitar sometime around there yeah i take guitar lessons i actually want to give a special thanks to my guitar teacher for literally lending me a guitar pedal um for like a week you can hear that on sophomore a couple times in like most of the songs and it's got like one that goes wah 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 Okay, so if you guys hear the wah 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 on sophomore, uh, give a special thanks to Owen Page's guitar teacher. So, um, this project and all your music stuff has been, uh, all on your own. It's been a solo project, so, uh, what are some of the challenges that come with playing solo? Um, well, you don't get a lot of feedback, uh, is one thing. Um, I did play, like, basically all the songs from Sophomore that are on, on it, and even some that I cut at Open Mic. Um, I play I play at an Open Mic every Monday um, at a local restaurant, um, and I'm kind of a regular there. A local so yeah, I kind of have a cult. I'm, I'm basically a celebrity. That's Next right. thing you know, I'm going to be, like, opening for Taylor Swift. Actually, she's opening for me. Oh, okay, I see. Starting next week, after yeah. the album comes out. And then she'll open. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. There are some singles from uh, Sophomore online right now if you want to listen to them. Christopher just came out. Yeah. And the full album will be coming out next week. So, yeah. Mm hmm I sent you a CD. You did send me a CD. So I've actually listened to the full album already. It's really good. It's, it's a more serious and cohesive, I would say, collection, especially compared to Mono Chopsis, which came out before. Which was just full of great tracks and uh, really established you as more serious creator. And this one, it's... What would you say the theme of uh, 
sophomores? Um, being a sophomore in high school. Being a sophomore. And the experiences that come with it. It's a very sad existence. We're all very depressed teenagers. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I wrote, I made, I made like an effort to try and finish the, um, finish the album before I became a junior. I'm a junior now. But I finished it all when I was a um, sophomore. Okay. Um, so in terms of crafting the album, like not on a particular song level, but just the album as a whole, what was your process in choosing songs that fit together? Like, did you write the songs to go with one another? And did you cut any songs from the album that didn't fit? I cut a lot of songs. And like, yeah, there were a lot of different things. Like, I probably have like four or five songs that I like started working on but scrapped and two of them were like completely finished but then I was like these aren't good so I decided not to release them. Do you, do you think you'll ever come back to using those songs in a future release perhaps? Probably not. Um, not. Okay. So, I could uh, send it to you. <laughs> we'll, we'll put a three second clip of this uh, audio recording right now. We'll play it at ten times speed. There. <laughs> So the lyrics on Sophomore, really strong, um, I especially like the title track, Sophomore. Every track seems to have incredibly personal lyrics to, uh, to you specifically. Some songs try to generalize things to appeal to a wider audience, but not for you. How do you decide how much of your own life you want to put right on this life? If I write a song that's specifically about, like, one person, I'm gonna make sure that I'm never gonna see that person again. Um, so the song Christopher is about a person that I'm never gonna meet ever again in my life. I haven't really I haven't really told anyone about this, but um, tracks five through seven are supposed to be like a trilogy of songs together that like kind of follow a narrative. So it's Christopher, middle school, and then sophomore. And so those songs, it's so Christopher takes place in elementary school, middle school takes place in middle school, and sophomore takes place in high school. And that's kind of the only way they're related. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Um, let's see. The last last question I had written down was uh, the cover art. What is the cover art? Uh, uh, it just sets up the theme of school. It's a overview of the um, of the commons uh, at my school. So it's not a uh, with the overexposed kind of almost ghost like people. It's not a commentary on uh, how quickly our lives seem to to bleed away from us. How they just kind of, how life just flashes by, and we, by, in one second, we're done with school. Then we have a job, and then families, and then we die. Death. Yeah. No, it was exactly that sort of. All right. Very cool. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the young aspiring mu musicians that? Just, or any artist in general that say, I, I don't have the time, man. I can't make it. I can't do anything. I don't know how. What are your words of encouragement to these, these poor fellows? You don't have time. You can't do anything. You don't know how. All right. Words of affirmation from Owen Page. <laughs> um, yeah. Give up on your dreams. You can't do it. You can't, nah. you can't do it. Um, <laughs> so, so, yeah, that about wraps up our interview. Um... Um, listen okay. to Owen Page's new album, Sophomore, coming out on February 15th, 2023. Very impressive for this solo act, Owen Page. Yeah. Yeah, I recorded it in this room, actually. This is, this is where it, This is the location. This is where it happened. Links are in the description yeah. for Sophomore and all the singles. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. Bye, everybody. Peace and sheep. That's kind of my outro there. What do you? What's your outro? Do you have an outro? Um.
That'll do. Well, that'll do.